I want to have a little chat about how databases can be useful. I guess a lot of people tend to use spreadsheets and use spreadsheets exclusively, but I want to sort of add to the picture as to how databases can be more useful. And um, I suppose I've been programming Excel VBA uh, professionally probably for something like 23 years, if, if, if not more. And a lot of what I've done when I was doing that programming, and still am to a certain extent, is using Excel as a front end to access. So rather than holding all of my data in Excel, sometimes I decided to make Excel the front end and make access the back end. So the point I'm making here really is that everything doesn't have to be held in Excel. So with that point in mind, I want to have a little talk about databases. Now, when it comes to databases, on a desktop, on a PC, your main choices, I suppose, are, well, really, it's Microsoft Access. Um, if you want to go open source, you've got LibreOffice. And with LibreOffice, you've got LibreOffice Base. Why do I tend to use Base? Two reasons. Mainly for quite a while, I've been using both PC and Mac, mainly Mac. But now I'm kind of more PC at the moment because I can get a lot more for my money with a PC. But I use Macs also. The thing about LibreOffice Base and LibreOffice in general is it works on all platforms, Mac, PC and Linux. Now, the other element uh, that's important about LibreOffice is it's free. And so it's not controlled by any major corporations. If you're a small business or if you want to work at home and not have to spend a load of money on a database, it's free. So right now, I'm going to talk about a little project I've done in LibreOffice Space. It could also be done in Access, and maybe later on I will give some examples of doing it in Access. Now, the problem that I was trying to solve is my blog needed updating, businessprogrammer.com needed updating. And I've got something like, at, this, at the time of this video, I've got something like 38 um, YouTube videos and I've got something like 43 blog pages. And I tend to embed the videos in blog pages. And so the idea being is enhance the pages with videos and enhance the videos with pages. But my content was, I was getting lost in my content and I need to know what I've produced so I can give you better information and so that I can improve the information. So I thought, hey, I need a database. So let's have a look at an example of what you can do with LibreOffice base or with Access, or with any database, and um, just give you some ideas. And it's a bit of inspiration also to see what you can actually do. Here's an example of what a database could look like, and specifically a LibreOffice database. So this is the form screen, and I've got a form called Form Switchboard. Now, this is similar to your Access style switchboard, a switchboard meaning it's the first form that you see in the database, it's the screen to enter the functionality. So if I double click on form switchboard, we get a form like this. So this is a form where you've got a button that all of these buttons here kick off macros and these are what the macros do. So let me just take you through this as an application and use it for inspiration and maybe it will drive some queries as to other stuff I can show you. So let's have a look at open blog post info. This is a form which shows you all of the blog posts that I've uh, created. So for example, if I click on 2020, those are the blog posts I've done for that particular point in time. And 2019, 2017, 2016, you get the picture. If I click on a given blog post, you can see that for example, LibreOffice Space link images dynamically on a form with the database, we can have another screen which shows you the YouTube videos that I have embedded in that particular blog post. And not only that, these are the tags I have applied to this particular blog post. So the point here is I'm just trying to show you what you can do with a database. So for example, create a database in LibreOffice. I, this is one of the few blog posts that don't have a video attached. Here's the uh, URL, so it would be businessprogrammer.com forward slash create hyphen a database, etc. And these are the tags that I've assigned to this particular blog post. So for example, this means that I have an Amazon affiliate link in the blog post. I'm using the Genesis theme 
and I don't have a video. So for example, if I were to pull over my blog page and I click on this particular link here and do control C and click back on the blog, I can do control V and it will take me to that particular page. And then I can review, yes, I don't have a video on the blog, but yes, I do have an Amazon affiliate link to some books that I recommend. To give you an example of me doing something on this, let's just say I, if I choose a year at random, 2016, how to make a table in open office or Libre office space. Now you can see I've got no tags here. So this, this means that on the website that I've just migrated, I'm in the process of updating my website. I can copy this. I can see that this page is probably going to not be fully uh, transferred because I can see I don't have any tags there. So let's um, just have a look at that. I go to businessprogrammer.com. I'll copy in the URL. And at the time of this video, it's probably not going to be as good as I want it to be. And yes, because I haven't updated my opt-in form because the opt-in form should be yellow and should look a bit nicer than this. So I have not yet tagged that. Let me give you an example of what I mean by tagging. If I click how to make a table in OpenOffice or LibreOffice, which is that particular blog post, I click tag active record. You see, I've got another form here. And let's just say temporarily, I did I say I've got an Amazon affiliate link? I don't. So I'm gonna say, this page needs some work. So if I click here, see with LibreOffice Space, you can have Google style queries. So I'm going to start typing, let's see, F-I-N for Finn. It's showing me unfinished post consolidate. So this is an unfinished post. Add unfinished post to this post. Yes. So now I have the tag unfinished post consolidate. Close this form. You can see we now have the tag unfinished post consolidate. Also, I could add a video link. So say, for example, if we go back to 2020, create a database in LibreOffice space. Let's say I were to actually put a video onto that post. I could then click add video link and now create a database in, in, in LibreOffice. I can then choose a video, click link, and it would appear there. So the point that I'm making with this video is you can actually make some really nice, impressive databases and applications. So these databases are really applications with LibreOffice Base. So let me just quickly so show you some other functionality. Uh, as I said, it's not so much about my database, but it's what could you build for yourself? So similarly, open YouTube post info, this is like the blog post info, except these, these are my YouTube videos. And for any given YouTube video, say code in LibreOffice space, simple form, that's a YouTube video. That's the video description there. These are the blog posts that the video appears in. So if I, and again, add blog post link um, to add to link a blog post to the video. So that's going the other way compared to adding a video into a blog post and I can close that and I can close that. Notice how when one form closes, the other form opens up. Um, add new blog post, oh, what was that? So yeah, if I, if I produce a blog post, I want to add that blog post to my database so that I know it's there. Page title, page URL, year, month, day of the uh, blog post. Um, in addition to that, add new YouTube video. That's what that one looks like, similar functionality. And you're going to like this open tag search. So for example, if I want to know what topics have I produced content on initially, well, I can look at tags. So if I can say, for example, Genesis, these are the uh, blog posts that I have converted to the new theme, the uh, theme being the uh, Genesis theme by Studio Press. In addition to that, I can do, I can do uh, a, a search on VBA. So these are some of the blog posts that, have, that have, have a VBA tag, but I haven't tagged everything yet. So what's got a VBA in the title? So if I type VBA, these are the blog posts. Um, 34 of them are articles that have VBA in the title. How to create a VBA form in Excel. And okay, so I've, I've noticed I've got a duplication here because I've got, well, one is a YouTube. So, so yeah, th this particular search is showing me both YouTube videos and blog posts. 
So for example, if I look at how to create a VBA form in Excel, I've got a YouTube video which came out in 2020, January, and I've also got the um, blog post. Um, I could also say, let's see, what have I got on WordPress? So I've got two things on WordPress, one being an article, one being a YouTube video, um, HTML. So I've got nothing on HTML, but how about web? How to build a website, how the web works. So I think you get the idea. So I can click close on that. So the thing about a database uh, compared to say, just doing things purely in a spreadsheet is it's easy to add functionality because for example, if I want a new piece of functionality, I can create a new form or I can create, or I can amend an existing form, these being forms here, mainly because databases are just like Excel lookup tables. If you imagine um, table ranges um, in Excel, so you know your, your data tables in Excel or whatever, a database table is just something similar. It's just, it's just a table of data. So you can say these, these are your columns, these are your rows. So for example, if you, if you look at um, what I've got here, this is my list of YouTube videos. So we've got an ID that the, data, that the database creates, the title of the video, year, month, day. It's, you know, it's not, sorry for saying it, but I'm gonna say it's not rocket science, so sorry, Elon. Um, but you know um, the way to think the way to uh, think about databases is that they're really lookup tables, and when you get into that idea, it kind of demystifies it to a certain extent. And there are a few things you need to learn, like learning SQL. Yeah, kind of essential, but you just need to know the basics, and the basics are quite easy. So select video title from table video posts where year equals 2019. That's a SQL statement and that would pull that data out of it. So you, the trick is to start simply with things and um, hopefully uh, I'll be able to show you videos and articles to get you doing that. If you found this video useful, hey, like and subscribe and leave some comments below and ask me some questions and um, It'll give me some ideas for other stuff that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching.